So I think that the CD20, CD3 bispecific antibodies are a really exciting uh, therapeutic area. And we now have two approvals um, in relapsed refractory DLBCL. So we have uh, epcritimab, which is a subcutaneously delivered um, antibody uh, with continuous treatment. And we also have glofitimab, which is intravenously delivered antibody with a fixed duration of, of 12 cycles or, or eight months. So both of these um, drugs are now um, approved uh, across the different regulatory areas. And we're lucky, at least in the UK, to have um, reimbursement um, having with both agents having gone through the NICE health economic appraisal process. So we are now using these treatments in the third line setting um, in keeping with their in keeping with their label for, pa for patients who have had CAR T cell therapy and then relapsed, but also for other patients who um, are less fit and perhaps weren't CAR T cell candidates, they can now access these very effective agents in the in the third line setting with complete response rates up to forty percent, which is pretty remarkable in this context. We know that achieving a complete response does translate into um, progression free and over overall survival, and that's been a real paradigm change really for our patients in this context.